Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Champions League Fantasy Football. It's It's been a long time but it is back. Um, so what I thought I'd do in this video is basically catch up. I'm going to go through my team and see how well they've been performing in round of 16, the second leg. And don't forget there's still a couple of games left so a lot of points to still to gain. However, I do need to go back to FPL because I did mention like, a long, long time ago that whoever's like joint like winner um, will get a shout out as well and share the prize money. So, as you can see, not only Marco was third, but Maria is third as well because they both got 2,455 points. So, I just want to apologize that I did not shout you out, Maria. I'm so sorry, but here it is. Um, 86 points. That is incredible. An overall rank of 266. Wow. Like, I, I wish I got this rank. Um, but let's go through your team. Let me just uh, kind of like, there we, there we go. So McCarthy, Peters, Luka Dean, a disappointment there. I, I looked at Luka Dean, you know, bringing him into my team, but I changed him up and went for that two Burnley defence and didn't work out. I had Van Dijk in my team. Like if you've seen my videos, I, I had Van Dijk and a lot of people said, you know, bring Trent. And I was like, I don't want to bring Trent. I just don't want any Liverpool players right now. But I had Van Dijk, and Van Dijk could have helped me get into that top 100k. But anyways, it's not all about me. Um, Martial, Fernandez, Kevin De Bruyne. I mean, you pretty much got all of the players that performed really, really well. I guess in this team, Aubameyang could have been amazing, but you can't have them all. Sterling as a captain, Pulisic as well with three points. Um, Jesus with eight, and Ings with eight. Let's have a quick look at your subs. I spell a quite on the bench. Interesting that you did that. I guess so. I guess that's a... Actually, this ain't a free hit team. So you had Luka Dean for, for a while then? Or did you just um, bring Luka Dean in for this game week? And obviously Greenwood on the bench. So you did bench one of the Manchester United players. So, joint third in my main league. Well done to you. Please DM me on my Twitter account, um, your um, PayPal address. Then I will half the, the price uh, for the third position. And yeah, well done. Hopefully, hopefully you will continue and win it again next season. Okay, so let's get back on to Champions League Fantasy Football. 74 points. Round of 16, second leg. And I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven players left. I got a lot of players left um, for this round. And let's just quickly look at the the fixtures here. These was the ones already played um, for the second leg. And we still have Juventus versus Leon, Manchester City versus Real Madrid, Bayern Munich and Chelsea, Barcelona and Napoli. So a lot of points to gain and as you can see uh, I have Kevin De Bruyne so I don't really need to make any substitutes right now so that's my strategy is to make you know because in this game you can switch your uh, subs and confirm them uh, obviously I'm going to be removing Haaland here that only gave me you know gave me one point for like Messi from my bench but I don't want to make any changes right now um, just in case that we found out that Messi, you know, is out or any of my um, Bayern Munich players, then I'll sort out the, the substitutes out. But I think what I will do is I'll remove Haaland. So how many do I have to bring in? One, two, three. So Haaland, Mane, and yeah, and Trent. So three, four, five, six. Uh, oh, can't even count. Three, four, five, six. Um... So I'll get those points back because those players will play and hopefully if they return, then, you know, that, that's a massive bonus. So 
looking really good. We're looking really good for round of 16. And I got a lot of players that is actually through, which is which is fantastic. Um, Manchester City is winning against Real Madrid. So hopefully they will go through. Then I can start bringing in more Manchester City players like Sterling or maybe even Jesus. So start piling them on. Um, Bayern Munich. Looking at Lewandowski because they're free nil up against um, Chelsea. I doubt that Chelsea would be able to overturn that. Um, Barcelona bringing more Barcelona players. I think at home, you know, they'll be able to beat Napoli there. And I'm looking at Juventus beating Lyon as well. So maybe getting um, Cristiano Ronaldo into the team for the next stage. So that those were the transfers that I'm looking at. Obviously, we can't. I don't think we can go through. I know that there's just these substitutes that we can switch around, uh, but I don't want to make any. Um, I just want to double check. So, the deadline is sorry about this. There we go. So, making the substitutes, deadline is um, oh, no, that's changed. Okay, Friday, 7th of August, and then obviously, we have another window to switch those players around, and I'll make those final movements. Uh, here I'm always on it anyway, so I won't forget. Um, but yeah, but that that was my team looking really good. I mean, let's have a quick look. Uh, where am I? I, can't, I don't know where I'm actually. I think I, yeah, two thousand and five hundred and seventy six ranked in the world. I mean, I wish I had this rank in FPL. That would have been incredible. Um, but that is really good. I, I think last season I was around 5,000. That was my first time playing it as well. Like this season, the strategy that I went for was to use all of the boosts in the group stages. Um, and that actually worked out really well for me. I mean, I don't know if that's the best way of playing it, but that worked out really well because there was a lot of big teams facing the small teams and, you know, when it gets to that court finals and stuff like that, it just becomes more difficult and and there's less players to kind of pick out from. So that strategy, I, I think I'm going to be going with that strategy again. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be changing the strategy um, for next um, Champions League games. So looking really good, doing really well in my league as well. It'll be in the link in the description. I think I've got around maybe a thousand people maybe more but really good i'm really happy um just going through some of my some of my match game is just give you guys a little update um the fact that you can switch your captains around and you can use your substitutes um is really good and yeah you know getting that captaincy option always helps but i mean being consistent is the key right and yeah done really well i was this match day six is the one that I am going to make an adjustments for next season. Because if there's teams that just got nothing to play for, right? They already won. They don't need, they even they can lose. They can still go through. They're still top of the league and stuff like that. Top of the group stage, sorry. Um, I am definitely maybe using one of the, one of the chips where you can use you can make like a wild card, you know, you can get unlimited transfers. Maybe I might use it in game week, uh, not game week, match day six. So yeah, I think that's one of the adjustments that I'm going to be making is match day six is quite important because there's a lot of big players that might get a rest depending on where they are on the group stage. But yeah, I think that's about it. Um, first leg did really well as well. I mean, look at that captain. Um, this guy um, scoring, what, four goals, earning a penalty as well. It's just crazy. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to remove my um, captain. Yeah, I'm going to leave my captain option. I'm not going to change and put it on Messi. Unless Messi gets like six, seven goals, but I doubt that that will happen. But yeah, I thought I'll give you guys a little bit of an update on my team. Um, once this second leg finishes, I'll be creating another one. And then we'll be looking onwards and see on what we're going to be doing. Um, is there any court finals? There we go. Court finals is, yeah, we're still waiting on the results. So once that's um, confirmed, 
we'll start um, figuring out some substitutes. We'll start figuring out some um, transfers um, for the quarterfinals. But yeah, thank you guys. Thank you so much for joining in. So yeah, that was about it. Before I'll give you guys a little bit of a catch up video, go through my team and what I'm going to be doing in the next um, match day, what my transfers could be. Um, and yeah, just thought I'll give you guys a little bit of a catch up video because um, we've still got a few fixtures left. And once they're confirmed, then we look at the core finals. Okay. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining. Uh, I'm definitely going to continue in this game for next season. Hopefully we can get, uh, I'm around 2,000, right? So if I can reach 1,000, that'd be, that'd be a massive achievement. I doubt that's going to happen because there's a lot of players still left. So people's captain options are going to kick in. But yeah, we will see. I'll let you guys know on my Twitter account what I'm going to be doing. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. You guys have been incredible. Um, you know, a lot of people um, have stopped posting videos. I have to continue because of the Champions League. And I'm going to make sure that this is finished before I take a little bit of a break. And I come back very quickly. Um, but that's about it. Thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.